Hey guys, so I'm here today to film a what is in my purse video. As you may or may not know, I film what's in my purse videos when I need to empty out my purse and my purse is out of control. This is the current purse that I am carrying. This is off of eBay and I believe it was like $30. It came somewhere from China. I love the texture of the leather and it has two little handles as well as a long strap and the best part about this bag is that the bottom is covered in studs. I bought this probably, I think I bought it in April. I bought it in April because I bought it before my trip so it might have been February or March that I bought it but I bought it before my trip and I use it as a carry-on and I've been using it ever since then and I absolutely love this bag and I'll show you. It's just like a big gaping hole in the middle with a pocket for your tampons and then the two pockets for your cell phone as usual. Now because I take public transportation to work every day my bag is a hot mess and I have things in here that most people wouldn't have. Like the first thing I have is a book. This book is uh, Cress. This is part three of the Lunar Chronicles. It goes Cinder, Scarlet, Cress and then Winter is coming out I believe in November and there's another like spin-off book called uh, Fairest which is Lavana's story. Basically, this is like a sci-fi reimagining of fairy tales. So Cinder is about Cinderella, but she's a cyborg, and this is like in the future. And then Scarlet is Little Red Riding Hood. Cress is um, Rapunzel, as you can tell from the picture. And Winter is Snow White. And you kind of, all of their tales intertwine in a really interesting way. This is totally like a young adult novel, but I'm obsessed. My cousin got me reading them, and like I can't stop. I actually just finished this this morning on the bus so I now have to find something else to read and bide my time until the next book comes out which is painful. But yeah if you're looking for a series to read I could not recommend this more. If you like Hunger Games or Divergent this is along those lines. I mean it's not as there's no just I guess it's kind of dystopian future but it's not really dystopian. But yeah it's awesome. You should read it. Faux show. Did you see my cat struggle to jump on the bed? She's old. Um, oh, I have a, uh, some KFC coupons in my purse, because why not? This is why I have to do a what's in my purse. My purse is out of control. Um, I have my wallet, which is just a Tommy Hilfiger wallet. Honestly, I fucking hate it. It's hideous, but I like a wallet that is a zip-around wallet, like this one. This wallet is falling apart, though. I need a new one, but I just haven't, I just haven't had the energy to do that, so I haven't. Um, I have my sunglasses. They are in a Ray-Ban case, but they are not Ray-Bans. Oh, where are they? <laughs> not in the case, of course. That would be too easy. Um, these are my sunglasses. They, I guess, kind of look like Ray-Bans, but these are from Ardeen, because that's the life I live. I believe they were, like, 3 for 15 or something. So I bought them, because why not? Um, I also have an umbrella, because it was supposed to rain this week. And like I said, take transit. Um, in the little pockets on the side, I just have my phone, and this is my phone case. It's from Etsy. I have my Presto card, which is what you do to, what you like tap on for transit. You just load the card. Normally, my keys are in here, but they're on my counter right now. Um, in the <coughs> tampon pocket, I obviously have tampons. I have Q-tips. A lipstick is in there somehow. This is Mac Angel. Oh, actually, because. This is Mac Angel and I was going to back to Mac it but I guess I brought too many products to back to Mac so it has somehow ended up living in my purse. That's Angel. Why do I swatch things there? Like who am I? Eh. That's Angel. I hate it. Lol. And I also have all of my gift cards in there. Actually I'm kind of running low on gift cards. I used to have like after Christmas I had like a stack of gift cards. So currently I only have the Cadillac Fairview one, Timmy's one, HomeSense, and the Bay. That's not bad. Not bad at all. I'm not done the inside of my purse. I just decided to like veer off into another territory of my life. Um, I have a grocery receipt because that's the life I live. I have my doll, which I believe also has Robitussin in it. Yeah, there's some Robitussin in there. These may or may not be expired, but who cares? Not me. Um, I have mine and my husband's Amex cards that I have never activated that are just in the bottom of my purse because that's how I take care of my things. I have a pair of headphones and then I have another pair of headphones. These ones are attached to my iPod touch because I don't like putting music on my phone so I have my iPod touch with me and that's that. Um, a friend of mine went to the movies and got a coupon for a free upsize so she gave it to me. 
Um, I have my glasses in here, which is like adorable because I literally never use my glasses, but I have my glasses in here. Oh my God, they're so dirty and crooked. Like what? I literally can't even see you right now because they're so dirty. My life. I should clean those and potentially wear them while I'm working. Never gonna happen. Oh, I'm trying to like go around all the lipsticks in here so they can save that for last. I have a hair tie. Oh, I have two hair ties. Ooh. I have a granola bar because you never know when you're gonna get hungry. I'm always hungry. Um, I have a business Costco card and a TJ Maxx card which not TJ Maxx, it's TJ X, which is basically Home Sense Winners and Marshalls card. Um, I have a roll of mints because when I was in Costa Rica, we wanted to buy gum, I believe. And because the lady didn't have exact change, these were like 50 cents. And she's like, can I just throw these on your bill so that it makes exact change? It's a dollar or 50 cents. And I was like, okay, whatever. And they now have lived in my purse forever since then. I have the Kors Lip Butter in Wild Rose. I really love these lip butters. They're so moisturizing. I really need to buy the clear one because I don't reach for this very often because it is so tinted that it's kind of, it's, I find it hard to apply without a mirror. So that's a thing. I have a container of Benadryl uh, Itch Relief Cream because I got hives on my legs when I first moved into my house. So I bought this and apparently left it in my purse. That was a while ago. I have the, oh my God, I don't even know what this is. This is a lip balm and it's in a giant tube and it's by a brand called, it's a cocoa butter lip balm or something. It's super moisturizing. It's amazing. If you want to look for it, it's in the like black person hair section of uh, shoppers and Walmart and stuff. Like, you know, where you buy like do rags and like ridiculous things. That I don't know why they need to separate them all. But where you buy things that are for like ethnic hair, they also have the this. I believe they have like a hair mask too. But yeah, I can't remember what it's called. I'm gonna put a thing. I'm gonna put a thing. That makes sense. All right, let's go with lipsticks. There's so many of them. Oh, I also have a lighter in here just because you know you need one. I have the uh, ColourPop lippies, not lippy stick, uh, matte lipstick in Trap, which is just a beautiful purpley grayish color. I love that. I have Urban Decay lipstick in Bittersweet, which is one of their new matte lipsticks. And it's just the most beautiful purple color. Oh, so pretty. I live for these matte lipsticks. If you did not see my video on the matte lipsticks, I will link it below. They are fucking amazing. You need them in your life. I also have the Urban Decay uh, matte Relusion lipstick in After Dark which is kind of like Rebel, but it almost has like a bluish duochrome to it. This is it here. It's actually a little bit lighter than Rebel, maybe. So pretty. I have the Kat Von D Studded Kiss Lipstick in Lovecraft. It's just a baby sample, but this is like my perfect like nudie pink color. So pretty. I love it. Ow, those ones are heavy. I have Max Lipstick in Stone, which is, oh my god, the most beautiful color in the whole entire world. It's like, I don't even know how to describe this color. It's like, it's like a gray brownie taupe. I did a blog post on this also, which I will link below because it's so pretty. Oh, so pretty. I have the Burt's Bees uh, Lip Balm in, I guess just the regular one. This is what it looks like. I don't love this. It's really minty and it kind of is like hard to like put on your lips. Like it doesn't, it has no slip to it. Like it's kind of hard and I don't like that. I have the Kiehl's Lip Balm number one. I don't love this. It's okay, but it's like really like, it's like, it looks like a clear gloss almost when you put it on, which I'm not into. I like never reach for that. Um, I have the ColourPop Lip or Ultra Matte in Tool, which is what I'm wearing on my lips today. I love this color. It's, oh my God, it's so pretty. Look at it. Look at it. I love it. It's like a brownie. I don't even know. I don't even know, but I love it so much. 
I have the Kat Von D um, Everlasting Li Ki Liquid Kiss Lipstick, I think is what this is called, in Exorcism. This is one of her new shades, and oh my god, it's so beautiful. Like, <laughs> swatching it next to Tool, lol. They're totally different. Shut up. This one is, like, such, like, a berry, like, wine color. I love it so much. I have the Elizabeth Arden Nourishing Lip Balm SPF 20. Um, this is a decent lip balm. I don't love the applicator. It's one of these applicators, which is kind of lame. Oh my god. And this is the problem, is that because I haven't used it in a really long time, it's like, I have to, it's really liquidy right now, so I have to like roll it around in my hands, and like you don't want to accidentally squirt all that liquid onto you. That's gross, or onto your lips, I guess, not onto you. I need a Kleenex. So yeah, I don't love that that much. I have a container of Abriva in here which expired on 06 2014. Mm, maybe I should throw that away. Just a thought I'm having. What else is in here? Oh, here's my newer Abriva that expires on 06 2017. Can you tell I get cold sores? No, you can't tell. That's a secret, right? What else is in here? Another hair tie. A Harvey's coupon. Oh, and some more lipsticks. And a quarter. A quarter. And I have the LA Girl Matte Flat Pigment, Matte Flat Finish Pigment Gloss. This is in the color Secret, and oh my god, this color is to die for. I posted a video about the, or I posted a video where I hauled this, and it's so fucking gorgeous. I live for this color. Guys, why isn't it fall yet? I'm sorry to all you people that are all like, oh my god, it's summer. Fuck summer, I'm over summer. I live for September. I live for fall. Give me a PSL and some vampy lips and my life will be complete. I am basic. I don't care. And the last thing in my purse is this Annabelle Stay Sharp Self-Sharpening Waterproof ba Brow Liner. This is in the shade Taupe, and I really don't know if this is too light for me or not. It kind of works, but it looks so light for my brows. Partially, probably because I use a too dark color for my brows as is, but I really like this for my brows. It's super smooth and creamy and easy to apply. I did a blog post about, like, the five new brow products that I got from picked up from Annabelle and NYX so I will link that below also so you can kind of see my overview of the brow products oh my god so many links today oh my god dropping everything today so yeah that is everything that is inside my purse you know you can see it, it looks so much cuter with it's not full of crap look at those studs I love it so much so yeah oh also found a dime so that is everything that is inside my purse. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. People always love what's in your purse videos and I love cleaning out my purse. So win-win. Thank you guys for watching and I will talk to you next time. Bye.